Hey guys, it's Lindsay, and today I wanted to do a what's in my purse video. I have never done one of these videos, which is kind of surprising because I see, I mean, um, I feel like everybody does a what's in my purse video. Um, but I've gotten just random requests recently to do one, and I was holding off because I hated my purse. And I know that's stupid, but I knew I was going to be getting a new one, so I did. So I will show you the new one that I got. I just got this last week. Um, I actually picked this up at TJ Maxx. I went in and I wasn't exactly sure what I was looking for. I just wanted something nicer than and different from what I had. Um, so this is what I picked up. It is a Dooney and Burke, um, like a chocolatey brown leather purse. And it's pretty tall. Like as you can see, I have it um, filled pretty well. But it's tall and it has this kind of like one shoulder strap and it's not adjustable. I mean, I guess it's a tiny bit adjustable, but not really. I mean, I, you wouldn't really adjust it, um, but it's got gold hardware and kind of that like baseball stitching. And I am just in love with it so far. Um, I'll show you my old purse. My old perch, what, purse <laughs> was a like bone colored leather coach purse. And I love this style. I love it. I just think it's really chic and cute. And I love this little, like, I guess, satchel style. Um, but it was a huge mistake getting bone because it's just so hard to keep it nice. If you're going to be using a purse, like, if you're going to be using a purse like this every day, don't get it in, in bone. Um, maybe different leathers are different and different companies are different, but it just, can you see? how dirty it is and like look at the straps you can see how worn they are i got this last year at this exact same time my birthday's in may so i got this for my birthday i got it just um a little bit early and it just is so like dirty looking like the front like i would be i finally i was just embarrassed to carry this because it looks dirty but the problem is you can't clean it um as soon as you try to wipe it even with just water or anything you can't barely wipe it at all and then that bone color starts to come off and you see it's like underneath here is kind of like a rusty reddish leather so it just is not a smart purse for something for every day um i i love the style of it but then it also got kind of annoying because i always had to carry it like this and i don't know i was just ready for something different here like big smudge on the back there you just can't clean it that's so stupid um so i went chocolate brown because it's definitely not going to show scuffs the way that that creamy color would. And um, and if I would get this really smudged or something like that, a little bit of brown shoe polish would work wonders. So I love this. It's just, a, you can just tell it's like a really good quality, heavy duty leather. Um, and it has these two pockets in the front here. It has the Janine Brook emblem. And then these two pockets in the front, which are really nice. Um, in this, I guess if you're looking at it the right, the right pocket, I keep my cell phone, my keys, and my chapstick because I'm a chapstick nut and I need chapstick all the time. So these are like, this pocket is absolute necessities. And then the next pocket is um, one of these Sephora, now my phone's ringing, one of these Sephora mirrors that you get when you get a gift card. Um, See these oil absorbing sheets, these are probably a hundred years old. I almost never use them, but I, they're so thin, they don't take up any room, so I just leave them in there for days when I'm like, I really do need them. Two packs of gum. So again, you know, more necessities. <laughs> so then I keep those, that's what I keep in the front pockets. And they're nice because you can just reach them, zip them in. Um, I love this for my phone because I put this beside me in the car and then it's just right there if I need it and my keys are right there because it is so deep it's kind of it's not the most convenient to reach in all the time so that's why i keep the keys and phone in front too so that while i'm walking and stuff i can reach in and then this is what the inside looks like it's got the pink lining and it has one like here if you can see one kind of big zipper pocket you can see it there with my pink lotion that's falling out now and then it has one like little cell phone pocket. You can kind of see it right there. Um, I don't put my cell phone in there. I'll have to find a use for that. I'm still kind of working with my purse. Um, in my old coach purse, it had a big pocket like that too. And this is where I keep 
my lip glosses, uh, perfume, all that kind of stuff that I grab for a lot and I don't feel like having it in a separate little bag or anything like that. Um, so in this pocket, favorite, favorite hand cream ever. I mean, this is just the best hand cream. True Blue Mini Paraffin Super Softening Hand Lotion. It is just the thickest, richest, most wonderful cream for your hand. Um, these little things are kind of expensive. They're six bucks a piece, but they always have sales on them. So, you know, you can get them three for 12 or three for 10 or whatever. And this will last me like a month and a half, two months, no problem. I just love them. But I go through them like crazy because I'm a lotion freak too. I always have to have lotion on my hands. Um, my NYX Beige Lip Liner. My Marc Jacobs Daisy Rollerball a pen. Always gotta have a pen. Uh, Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Pink Pursuit. I have a Mary Kay Little Compact. I love this thing. Just for, I don't touch up my makeup throughout the day. I almost never touch up my makeup throughout the day. But if I'm going to, it would be blush because I feel like that just kind of wears off the fastest. So this is just, you can, it's customizable. You can just kind of put whatever you want in it. Um, I don't use it very often because like I said, I don't touch up very often. But then underneath are the tools and everything. The one that I really love is this teen, ooh. Okay, first of all, here's a little tiny brow spoolie brush, which I don't know what you're gonna do with that, but it's super cute. And then this is actually so handy. Look at this itty bitty tweezers. And it works so well. It really grabs hairs because every now and then you're out and you realize I have the most disgusting stray hair and that's nice. So I keep that in there for emergencies. Another pen. Here I have, I, I tend to just lose things in the bottom of my purse. Here I have two Viva Glam 2 MAC lip gloss lip sticks. This is my favorite color. I know why I did this. I know why I have two in here because the one that was in my purse forever, look, that's all that's left. So that's pretty pathetic. That shows how much I love this. So my backup doesn't, ooh. Oh, that was the rollerball that was so loud. My backup doesn't have much left either, but I'll leave just the backup in there now. I don't need the one that has nothing. This is a Sephora glass or crystal nail file or whatever they are. This is a lifesaver. I am always filing my nails because they'll break away or something and you get the, I'll get that sharp edge and I can't stand that. So I have to file it or else I will like honestly bite it off or I'll find a you know, rough spot underneath a table and grind on it. Like, so if I don't have a nail file, I'm in trouble, so I always keep a nail file with me. Hair tie, here's a Mary Kay tinted lip balm in natural. Here's my Travelo with Philosophy uh, Amazing Grace perfume in it. And then I have this lip gloss, which is so old. I probably shouldn't even be using it. I don't think they make it anymore. Maybelline Shiny Licious in Caramella, but it's really pretty, I do like it. And then I have Estee Lauder's Rose Amethyst and a hair stuck on my finger. Rose Amethyst lipstick. So that's everything. I don't know if you wanted to know everything that was in my little pocket there, but that's everything I keep in my pocket. And then in the main, I keep my camera, my Canon, I don't even know what kind of it is, PowerShot, ELF, E-L-P-H, 100HS. I don't know, gets the job done. And then here's my wallet. This is the most amazing wallet. I've had this for so many years and it's just been so good. It's one of these um, that clap, clasps like that. And then I keep um, like business cards, coupons, um, just random things like that in this pocket. And then on the inside, here's the side with my credit cards, the other side with money. It just, it has a zippered pocket for the change. It's just so nice and it keeps everything in it. Like I know, I never worry about my cards slipping out or anything. I love that. I got that at Wilson's Leather Outlet years ago and it has just held up so nicely. And then here is a little tablet that I got at Target a little while ago because I'm always needing to jot something down. I get a phone call, I need to write somebody's number down, grocery list, you just can't be, be without it. And then this is a dinky little thing to keep coupons in, which I'm not very good about, but I keep it in there because I keep thinking I'm gonna be better about using coupons, but I'm not always. And I have coupons in here that last you know, expire way, way, way down the road. So I keep them in there just so that I always have them on me. Checkbook. And then I keep this little bag in here. And uh, Hillary, my friend Hillary bought me this bag a while ago. I think it was just on mega clearance at Banana Republic or something. And it's really cute. It's kind of just brown sequins. And then this is all 
just regular necessity things. I keep Advil, Tums smoothies, these little mini things. I, I could eat these for dessert. I just love them. And if you're ever, your stomach's feeling a little weird, you're just feeling a little off, chew two Tums. They have calcium, they're good for you. And they seriously work wonders. I use Tums. I mean, I'm not like every day or anything, but I use them a lot. Tied to go pen because you always, you never know when you're gonna get a little spill. A couple tissues, some other necessities. Uh, here, this is Dr. Scholl's for her rub relief stick. It's a stick that if your shoes are starting to rub and causing like calluses and you know rubbing your feet raw, you put this on and it kind of just gives it a little slip and it, it really does help. And then I keep my inhaler in here because I am asthmatic and I literally never need that, but I just know the second I take it out of my purse, I'm gonna need it. And so I just leave it in there anyway. Um, now stuff's just falling everywhere. And that's basically it. The last thing is in my purse. This purse has like this, this leather cord in it. Um, I think you're supposed to put your keys on that, but for me that would be so inconvenient because I have to always like unclip my keys from this. So I just put my Bath and Body Works antibacterial and I'm using this all the time. Every time I pump gas, every time like I'm done at the grocery store, I just get grossed out having my hands everywhere. So that is it. I've taken everything out of my purse now and I uh, just have a couple things left in here, but this is my new purse here. I'll show you what it looks like on my body here. Um, here's what it size wise, but I just love it. I have, I know a couple people who have the same purse, not in this color, um, but it's just, I can just tell that this is the purse that will hold up so well. It's not super trendy or anything, so it's one I can wear for a really long time. Um, honestly, this would probably hold up forever. Am I gonna wear it forever? No, I mean, I'm gonna be honest about that. I probably will not use this purse forever, but it is one that, you know, I'm just really happy with. And I forget, did I mention where I got it? <laughs> I got this purse last week at TJ Maxx. I think I did mention that, but now I feel stupid. It was 129, which I think is, you know, I think that's a great price for this. I think that that's a lot for a purse. You can obviously get purses for a lot cheaper than that, but it's all leather. It's a really good size. It's great quality. It's a Duty and Burke. Um, so dollar or 129 bucks, considering retail, it's like 299 or 235 or something like that. I mean, it's a great price and there's nothing wrong with it. So loving it. So let me know what other kind of videos you want to see from me. I hope you enjoyed this. I don't have anything too cool in my purse, but that's basically it. And I wanted to show you my new purse and then show you my old purse as just a warning to stay away from bone colored purses as a general rule. But uh, that's basically it. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will talk to you later. So see ya.